Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is the second day of the town series where I go back into the town where I left off and as you guys can see I'm already in reputation level 3. The personal or not the personal train, the express train has just been here with four people because I did upgrade my town yesterday and I need to get some more stuff so I can upgrade it again. The same with my town hall. I do have some stone slabs and some hammers, but I'm gonna use them somewhere else. So as I left off last time, one of the things I touched on was the importance of unlocking here. Because you need to unlock one of these slots and for me it was just easier to take this slot because it takes 11 of each tool, the map pieces, the mallets and the marker stakes. And once you unlock this, you will have Mr. Wicker telling you, look, it's the old sanctuary and we have to pay 10,000 to start repairing it. And it's a good deal because as soon as you start uh, repairing this and you got this open, you can start collecting uh, the puzzle pieces. And you get two puzzle piece boats um, every week. And then you get an extra when it is the first in the month. And you will also be able to participate in the boat events. There will actually be one coming up soon, I believe, where you can get up to five boats uh, with puzzle pieces. You can also get puzzle pieces in the derby and the valley. And you can sometimes get it in chest around the places and also in the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so yeah, let's start repairing and it will take me four hours so it will just sit there in the meanwhile let's take a look at the buildings here i got some served here and as you can see it gives me four and when he's done playing on his guitar he will also be giving me a gift so an axe as you can see it's not only uh, expansion materials it can also be tools let us see here it's a saw and a deed and a deed so that is pretty nice so as you can see here we now have two options to uh, expand on or upgrade on but to begin with you want to focus sorely on how many slots you have in the stores because that means you can serve people faster so as you can see this takes bolts tape and the stone block so let us just do that and then as you can see it will take another reputation level for you to do more so let's do the exact same in the cinema and as i said last time i prefer using the town town hall to sort out my visitors this is also the method i use on my own farm when i uh pr prepare for derby because what you can do is not only uh, serve people from here, but you can also collect from uh, the the buildings without collecting the ones that are completely done. So you will leave them, but collect the people that still need some serving. Um, so as you guys know, we need another reputation level to get to the personal train. And when we do that, we can pick up for our neighborhood. These only take uh, one building to be completed, which is really nice. Um, so again, in this level, I can upgrade my station. So I get up to five people in and here I can upgrade. So I have even more capacity. So it's plus, plus three for every upgrade. And as you can see here, I can have 12 people here. Um, but it is uh, still limited to like how many you can serve. But as you make sure when you get more options to upgrade, you go with the slots first. And once you go down the line, you go for the speed. Because the more you can get in and the faster you can serve them, the better. Then, after all this is 
done, it takes a lot of uh, reputation levels. You can either choose coins or XP reputation, but I would say the reputation and XP is actually more preferable. But yeah, that is actually what I have for today. I will be needing to do some more uh, uh, town work before I am done uh, enough to get to the personal train. And once I am reputation level 4, I will come back to you with another video. So this is just a short update on what you do when you get to reputation level 3. It is really simple, it's really fun and I really enjoy town. It is one of the most important things. So now that you uh, have expanded to this slot where you get the sanctuary, you don't really need to worry about expanding other places because they don't really have any... Um, they don't have any importance other than giving you some space and then you will of course be needing some more map pieces. These are actually pretty easy to get in the paper because most people will just sell them and you can also get other materials like bricks and the hand drill and the paint are really common to get. So you can see the hand drill. Uh, what is rare to get is the stone slabs, the, the tar and the metal hammer. Those are not easy to find, but you can see here, even the map pieces are easy to get. And I have an offer. So you can take an offer like this. It's actually not that bad. You get 250 diamonds, 200,000 coins, and then 10 of each of these expansion materials. It's not something I want to get because I don't really need it because this is just a baby farm for me. But in general, this is a good offer. It's, it gives you a lot of uh, items for the, coin, uh, for the money you spend. So you can see here, this is 80 Danish crowns. That is around, I would say seven or no, eight dollars. And if you go to this one, if you see the price for the sack of diamonds, it's it's not a bad deal. It's a really good deal. I think you even uh, you almost get more diamonds in this deal for less money. So if you don't mind spending money on diamonds, then this deal is for sure something you want to take. But you can do it without. You can use the paper to buy stuff uh, uh, as far as you don't hit you know the limit on the expansion material purchased. So yeah, as you keep playing town, you also get more of the expansion materials needed to expand the buildings. So the more you push through the buildings, the better. And I think that is all I have for this time, because now I just have to play town a bit more. And always make sure to keep your machines uh, producing uh, products. Actually, I did have the sugar, so I can actually go in and just use that instead of waiting for help because then or uh, i could but then i got some help so we get saying thank you but again as i said last video when someone helps you with the building you don't get the reward the other people do and they actually get it immediately so if you want to help out in town when there's for example the xp event or the reputation event you will actually get more reputation in that way if you go around seeking people searching help for the town. So that's not a bad deal, especially if they ask for help on the bed and breakfast, because that is the one that gives you most XP, no, no not XP, but most uh, reputation. So that is all the tips I have for this level. Uh, again, keep on playing the town because it's really important. And I will be back to you maybe tomorrow, maybe someday later. And until next time, have fun!